Hey guys, Christian here, coming to you live, well, not live, uh, because this is recorded, but live in the sense that it's off the top of my head, kind of raw uh, video that I wanted to share with you. I've had have some thoughts that I want to share with you guys, uh, hopefully to help help your thinking. I get calls and questions from you all about about timing, whether you are if you're thinking about listing your home or you have friends who are thinking about listing and selling this year and moving or whether you're a buyer and you want to move from maybe you're upgrading to a larger home, you need an office, <clears throat> whatever the reason is, whether when's a good time to buy. And in the past you know, the season, the buying season was uh, somewhere around March, a little bit, but maybe early, early March, late February into June or July, the height of the market. That's when traditionally most of the houses came to market and then it dropped off. But it's been my experience that it's now a 12 month market. Certainly, you know, the longer days and the nicer weather make it easier to to show properties and you'll have business but for the last several years we've been in a very low inventory situation meaning it's out of balance it's skewed way more toward uh, the number of buyers in the market way greater than the supply of homes and of course you probably heard this but that's driven up the prices for homes because of demand so in Ann Arbor, we're under two months worth of inventory. And if you're in Celine or Chelsea or Dexter, Ipsy, it's somewhere north or south of there. It varies. But we just haven't had a really good balance between the number of people looking to buy homes and the homes that are available on the market. So it's really important to think about your goals, whether you're a buyer or a seller. So now, certainly, if you're thinking about selling, is a great time to prep your home, get it ready so it shows the best and stands out, and you are likely to accomplish some of your goals, which would be to sell your home for the most money with the least hassle in the least amount of time possible. All laudable goals. So. Timing isn't so much of when to market your home. I think it has more to do with how well prepped your home is. Home buyers, even though it, it's a, what we call a seller's market, are really concerned because they're aware that prices have been driven up. Ann Arbor consistently ranks in the top five or ten of most desirable places to live, and we're because of the University of Michigan and because of businesses in the area, there is a decent amount of relocation coming. So people are coming here, they like it here, they want to live here. So there's a lot of demand here. But ironically, the buyers, the vibe with buyers is that while they're willing to pay more, they also expect more. So if you have a really old furnace, 15, 20 years, that might be a factor in how buyers approach offering on your home. If you have a super old roof, if your home generally looks run down, it's not going to be as attractive and people might just wait because interest rates are not likely to go up. It's another factor. People might just wait and look, wait for a better home. But to make your home stand out, preparation is essential. So the number one thing you can do is just look at your home as if you were a buyer. We call it putting on buyer's eyes. What is it around your home short of major renovations that you were thinking you would have done? And if you think back about when you purchased your home, what is it about the, that home, about your home that you loved and you wanted to live there? That's probably the thing that other people will love as well. So be really, really deliberate in how you look around your home. 
the top two things, decluttering and painting. So could you freshen up the rooms with a, a lighter, brighter color, make it look, look fresher? It's relatively inexpensive and it yields potentially thousands of dollars in asking price. Second thing is decluttering. You know, we as Americans have a lot of stuff. I'm often, even in my home, I'm often looking around thinking, got to get rid of that, got to get rid of that. In fact, it took my wife and I, when we moved to our home in Ann Arbor, it took us about three years worth of the garage sailors, sales to clear out enough to where it didn't make us frantic. So whatever you can do to declutter your home are the things you could get rid of, are the things you could give away, are the things you could pack into storage if you do want to keep them. Decluttering is a really big deal. It makes your rooms feel larger, brighter, more cared for. Uh, and it's still a great time. With the quality of the photography that I hire, it can make your home look great. Even if you are moving and you have vacant rooms, we can do things like virtual staging to make the rooms look really appealing. So you're certainly, if your home is in spiffy shape, you're certainly going to be able to get people in and take a look at it. So don't worry about that. And if you're a home buyer, again, the number one thing you can do is make sure you're buttoned up financially. And that means get a solid pre-approval from a reputable bank that can assure a potential seller that you guys can close, that you're able to close on the property, that your finances are buttoned up. And most often, there is a slight bias by listing agents toward local banks, local mortgage companies, because they dealt with them. And they're aware that a lot of things could go wrong. And they don't want to take a risk on someone whose loan isn't going to go through. So it's really important. Get a solid pre-approval, not just a pre-qualification. And then secondly, think about what it is that you most desire in a home. It's like uh, what I tell, I've told my kids in the past is you can have some of what you want, but not all of what you want. And it, the same is true often for, for homes. Even if you're buying a, a brand new home with a builder, with a developer, there are compromises that have to be made unless you have an unlimited quantity of cash. So prioritizing your wants, whether it's a certain location, a certain school, a certain style of home, maybe a kitchen is really important to you, a really big master, first floor master bedroom, uh, whatever that is, write up a list of three or four of your must-haves and then a couple like-to-haves and be willing to compromise even on those. All right, that's just some raw thoughts. I know I've gone on a little bit long. If you've watched this all the way to the end, thank you. Love to have a conversation with you if you're thinking of buying or selling this year. And um, if you're not, I hope your year 2021 is off to a great start. Make it a great day. Thanks for watching.